Hey everybody, this is Kyle Altair here with Kai Talks About and controlling your ESC or your electronic speed controller with your Arduino is pretty simple. So a couple things you're going to need is your motor, your battery, your ESC or your electronic speed controller, and of course your Arduino microcontroller. So the ESC interfaces between the battery itself through this, through these wires, which are obviously ghetto connected as you can see, and this is the control. So this you control through these wires and you connect it to your Arduino. So you connect any PWM pin to the, it'll be either yellow or white. You connect through there and then you'll see either brown or black for your ground and you connect that, that to your Arduino ground. Now you'll see that there's one pin that isn't connected. That pin that isn't connected is actually your five volts. You do not, by any means, want to connect in, um, your Arduino through this red wire. Because if you do, you will instantly fry your Arduino. I have done it more than I care to admit before I realize that. So do not do it. Only connect your signal and your ground pin. Nothing else. So once you have that connected and you guys see what you need, um, you, there's one more thing you need to be careful of, and that is your battery and your ESC. So if you look here, you can actually see um, here on this flight battery, um, it says 20C, 30 amp maximum continuous discharge. So that 30 amps means at full power, 30 amps will flow from this battery to this motor. Now because of that you need an ESC that can handle it. So here is my ESC and this is a 40 amp ESC programmable brushless brushless sorry ESC. Now you want to make sure that the ESC rating is higher. So the ESC amp rating needs to be higher than the battery. You do not want it to match exactly because if there is any issue any like the slightest issue um, in voltage and um, I'm sorry in current you will fry this this ESC I have done it when I fried it my ESC exploded my entire room was filled with smoke and I quickly had to evacuate the room because it was toxic fumes essentially um, and I had to vent out the area for like an hour or two and then finally the smell was gone so make sure that the amp rating for your ESC is higher than the discharge rating for your battery this is very important but once you have gotten that, your next step is just the code, which is simple enough. So let's go ahead and get to it. So here's the code that you need to program your ESC. First things first, you want to include servo.h and of course have servo as my servo. And then in your setup section, of course, you want to start your serial monitor because that's how we're going to be controlling it. And here are the important parts, the most important parts. Uh, you want to make sure that you have my servo attached to PWM. Uh, digital connector 9. Um, it doesn't have to be PWM pin 9. Um, any PWM pin will work, but for this, um, for this example we're just using 9. We have a 1 millisecond delay and here's another important part, myservo.write10. This you do not need to change and it's actually required to activate the ESC. It just sends that signal that arms the ESC and then you wait for 5 seconds and that's again a mandatory item that you need without it your ESC will not arm and you'll just be continuously waiting for it the next thing you want to do is while serial available is greater than zero so you're getting data that is greater than zero so any value really um, your int value equals serial dot parse int now I originally made the mistake of putting int value equals serial dot read and that did not work because you would input five press enter and it would actually send a different number um, I don't really know what those numbers are but I know it wasn't what I was looking for so when you look and put in serial dot parse int that reads the integer value that's sent through the serial monitor itself then next thing you want to do is show on the serial monitor the value that you sent and then you also want to write that red value to the my servo dot write all right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to open up the serial monitor, and you hear that beep? It's waiting for um, the correct signal. So it actually stopped because I already have it set to zero, so it's going to let it happen. It's going to let the ESC arm. So I am actually going to pick up these materials 
and I'm going to put it here so you guys can see what's happening to the motor itself as I'm typing. So I'm holding it here. This is where it will not um, move. All right, so I'm going to put in zero and nothing happens because it's just zero. Now, I figured out that to start this, you need to put in a value greater than 58. So I want to put in 59 and that'll start it at the minimum value. Okay, and you can do 180, which is your maximum and see, you can listen to it, listen. And now it's going at maximum and just setting it at zero just stops it. Now you could also just put in 58, nothing happens. Again, you put in 59 and it starts at its minimum value. Now the maximum value is not actually um, 180. Um, that's just the default that I put in. Um, I don't really know what the actual maximum is, but I know if you just put in 180, you'll never go wrong. It will be at, the, at its max value. So you don't need a potentiometer for this. You just need your serial monitor. You know, put in 59. It just starts, put in the maximum value. It's going like a bat out of hell. So that's all you need. So I'm actually using this for my project, Project Rowan, which is the remotely operated waterborne Arduino navigator. So it's actually going to be navigating a an RC drone up and down the river. I'm just going to see if it works and I'm going to be using this controlled with an HC12 and we'll go from there and it's actually going to be solar powered. But in any case, that is all you need for your Arduino controlled ESC.